Hey guys, so I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, for this video, I just wanted to show you the process that I go through when packing for a trip or, um, yeah, a short stay trip at the cottage. It is July 1st, which means it is Canada Day, and a lot of us are going to the cottage. We're going on a weekend trip, and... I wanted to show you guys how I do it and how to pack minimally for your weekend trip or your cottage trip. I wanted to pack everything within this one bag and I'm going to be staying at the cottage for three nights and four days and let's see if we can do it. Everything, toiletries, clothes, everything that I need for my weekend trip at the cottage. So I've planned out what I want to bring with me and I'll just go through it really quickly and show you guys what I'm bringing with me. So first and foremost, you gotta have sunscreen. And I have this one, it's for my whole body. And I have a separate sunscreen for my face and I just put it, there it is, in this little container. Yeah, it was actually just a sample from <laughs> Sephora that I took. So yeah, um, I have my face cleanser, and it's just Cetaphil cleanser. Um, and I will also be using this for my body when I take a shower. And then over here, I like to use rose water for my face after I cleanse. So I put this in a small spray container so I can spray it and then I have my deodorant because it'll get sweaty and of course I have my oil my oil concoction it's a uh, lavender and I forget the, the flowers that were here but and then I just mixed it up with olive oil and this is what I use after I cleanse and spray some rose water I just moisturize with my oil and then on the side I'm just gonna bring some peppermint because I love peppermint essential oils I'm also gonna bring some lavender as well as tea tree but it's in my bathroom so I don't have it but I like to mix tea tree and lavender together and just put it on bug bites and the itch goes away right away. It's it's amazing. It's like magic. And then my own DIY lip balm. So yeah. Just a side note. I am going to take a shower, a deep shower, before I go on the trip. Meaning that I will shampoo and condition my hair. I do not take a shower every single day meaning shampoo and condition every single day because it does dry my hair and my hair is curly so you gotta watch out for that um but afterwards i just <coughs> sorry i just use um the oil to just keep my hair moist and looking okay and so yeah and also i forgot to mention peppermint essential oil is awesome it is very cooling especially when it is super hot so that is also why I bring it with me all right now on to the clothes um, I am there for four days meaning that I don't need a ton of clothes but this is what I'm bringing so I'm bringing two loose shorts and then I also have this skirt, which is a skirt short and it's cotton, so it's very, very, like, I like lounging in it. It's so comfortable. And then I also have sport shorts because I like to wear them when I go canoeing or going inside of water. So yeah, I will be uh, utilizing my sport as well as a PJ. I just feel it's very comfortable and I can wear it all the time. I'm at the cottage, so it doesn't matter. And then for swimming, I have a mesh top 
to go over my one piece suit. So I have one piece suit here and another one here. Um, I'm bringing two because when you're at the cottage and you're at the pool all the time, uh, not the pool, the lake all the time, um, when this is drying one day, you can wear this the other day. So you're interchanging between the two. And then for t-shirts, very simple. I have a baseball tee here, um, a tank top here, and then a gray t-shirt there. They're all very light and very comfortable, especially when it's gonna be hot. So yeah, and I'm also gonna bring a flannel that I'll be wearing with the tank top um, when I go to the cottage. I'm also gonna bring my eye mask because I like sleeping with an eye mask and this one is infused with lavender. It smells so good. All right. And I'm also bringing underwear and a bra, but I'm not showing this in the video. So take that into consideration. <laughs> and then finally, what is Cottage Weekend without some good reads? So I'm bringing this book by Joe Vitale. Um, it's called The Key. I really wanted to read it because I love Joe Vitale and The Secret. Um, so yeah, and I also have audiobooks that um, I use on an app, so I have tons of books from there too. So for shoes, I am bringing one pair of sandals. No, two pairs of sandals. One is open toe and one is closed toe. So I'm just gonna put my um, either one on and then the other one I'm just gonna carry it in my hand with my book. And I'm also gonna bring a water bottle, but yeah. So let's see if I can fit it all into my little travel case. By the way, this is this is usually used for like, for um, I don't even know what to call it. For toiletries, there you go, that's the word. For toiletries, but I'm trying to challenge myself here. All right, here we go. The last zip. Can't do this with one hand. The process. Ooh, it's kind of heavy, but look at that, I did it. And then this is stuff that I'm just taking in my hand. Um, that's what I'm going to be wearing. So my all, um, my tank, and then this. That's what I'll be wearing. So there you go. I did it. You can do it. I believe in you. Um, just stay very simple. Think of the essentials and you can do it. Be comfortable. Be simple. Nothing worse than overpacking and feeling stressed because you've made a huge mess when you unpack and you have to repack and then all of that. So just save yourself some time and some stress and just... So thank you for watching my video. I hope this inspired you to maybe pack less next time you're going on a trip. Um, yeah, if you ever try to do it, I wish you good luck and have an awesome day. <laughs>